What's going on everybody and welcome back to JJD TV. I'm your host Josh and we are here for the five takeaways of the match we just saw between Bochum and Borussia Dortmund which ended 1-1. Before we get into the video though guys at the very end we are going to announce the winner of our cup competition so hopefully you guys will tune in to the end find out who wins and if you're excited for it be sure to drop a like on today's video drop a sub as well if you're new around here and let's get into the video now. All right guys so if it wasn't already apparent with the frustrating loss to Bayern, these next few games were drastically important to being able to pick up three points and show that we are still going to be in contention. We've already stumbled. We drew 1-1 against Bolcom in a game that I could go on and on about because it was one of the most frustrating performances I've seen in a while. Not really about the players, but more of the chances and some of the officiating once again. And then, of course, Bayern were losing against Mainz and they turn around and win 2-1. So that means that we're now six points behind, which really is three games. Because I think even if we catch up and they lose two and we win two, we still could be behind a probably goal difference and head-to-head -head or whatever it is. So regardless, we're still three matches behind Bayern now. And it's already looking like they're going to run away with the title, which is just not good for the league, not good for us so early on. It's, it's, it's straight up disappointing. So getting into my five takeaways, my first takeaway is going to be Erling Holland. Because as much as this game frustrated me, this is a game I thought Erling Holland was going to be a menace at this back four and making proper runs and, and just being the Erling Holland he is. And he had a very frustrating game. Did not score a goal, obviously. He was the one who obviously set up the goal for Brandt, which was very nice. He took it on, he cut it back, put it onto his right, played a perfect ball into Brandt to hit on the volley to put it home. But other than that, Holland ghosted for a lot of the game. It was very unorthodox. So... Everyone in the comments kept putting up his manager or his his agent's comments and maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe his headspace because his future's decided is getting into it. I don't know, but this was not an Erling Holland performance that I was used to whatsoever. It was nice to see him come up there big for the end, but a lot of question marks around Erling Holland's future now with the fact that competing for the Bundesliga title is already slipping away and getting knocked out of Champions League. I think there's some big question marks that are coming around Erling Holland and especially after performances like this. My second takeaway, guys, is going to be individual mistakes once again, sl slash defensive lapses, because I always said that this is the type of game where Dortmund get chance after chance after chance, and when we don't take it, they go home and the other other way and score a goal that is just ridiculous, and that's sort of what happened with the little defensive lapse. Made Cole will have to come out, took the penalty, and it was it was a, it was a penalty, but it, it could have been avoided, and a lot of the goals that we've given up this season could have been avoided, and also small little things towards the end of the game where. A simple pass is, is right there. Like Schultz had the opportunity just to play a simple pass and always finds a way to fluff his lines, which then kills off a minute of the added time. And it just seems like our, our defense have a mistake in them every game. And I just, I don't know what it is. It's it's frustrating. And, and it was one of the reasons we didn't have an opportunity to win today, which then rolls into my third opportunity. And speaking of the defense, I still would give them a pass on the day because this was still a game where we should have scored more than one goal. We had tons of opportunities, goal line clearances. There was there was a lot. There's a really good defensive performance from Bolkum, which I don't want to take away of. I thought the goal was BS. The goal that was taken away. Marius Wolf, who slotted it home. The goal the keeper, in my opinion, had nothing affected by Bellingham being his way. Bellingham was directly behind the, the center back, was not in his sight of vision. The keeper saw it the entire way, went the right way. I think it's completely BS. And we picked up so much steam up until that goal. And I think we would have ran away with it. And instead, they killed our momentum and put us back behind. And we were just behind the eight ball for the rest of the game, pretty much. And I just thought, once again, the referee got it wrong. Now, this one's definitely a grayish one. But to me, I just thought it was completely a mistake. And once again, the refs like to give us the middle finger. And it just it killed all momentum we had. And we had to have a good chunk of 20 minutes where we accomplished absolutely nothing. My fourth takeaway guys is going to be a couple positive performances today which I wanted to highlight and that is going to be Munier who I thought Munier was very active down that that right hand side but I've told you guys before the game I always think he's active him and Schultz are usually very active fullbacks getting up in the attack Schultz's balls today were atrocious they they, they were they straight up where he had opportunities where he had some good runs to try to pick up the right pass and he, he never does that's the big issue with Schultz for me for Munier however his balls were much better some really good defensive plays from the Bochum defenders were the reasons that he didn't get an assist in my opinion but I did like Mune's game and I like Bellingham's game Bellingham was all, all, always all over the pitch we slid in between the 4-2-3-1 and 4-3-3 it was really nice to see and he just was having fun those chops towards the, the end of the game where he could have got a couple goals he just he he's, keeps getting better and I feel like I always mention Bellingham in our five takeaways because he's just always that good 
And guys, my fifth and final takeaway, we go on depth, and this is gonna be a couple different points right here, but the depth is there, and we gotta stay more consistent, because Zagadu coming in today, I thought was okay. I thought Schultz was sort of poor, but then you see what happens when you have actual people to come off the bench, and we brought on Brant, and we brought on Hazard, and Brant was the one who came in today and scored the goal, and continues to show his rise in Dortmund this season, that he's gonna be a prominent member, because we missed him on the pitch, and that creativity, early on in the game and when he came on it looked a lot different he scored the goal it's great to see but I still don't know what missing players like Akanji missing players like Guerrero it's killing our back end the back end depth isn't quite there and it's starting to see if our players can stay healthy we're gonna have some good depth up front with Wolf starting this game today wasn't his best performance but still could have scored so there's some question marks around the depth but it's nice to know that at least it can be there if our players can please stay healthy so guys those are my five takeaways this was a frustrating game. I was miserable for most of the watch long since the gold got disallowed and Bochum scored early on. So if you guys want to let me know what you think about my takeaways, let me know what your takeaways are as well because there's a lot more coming from this match as well as if we obviously slide down to six points behind Bayern. But before we wrap it up, guys, it is time to give out our kit competition. You guys know we Dortmund gave us a Champions League kit to give away. All you had to do was go over to the Bruce Dortmund Borussia Dortmund International Fan App to sign up there and basically comment on a post. We put all the names into, so everyone who entered, thank you guys so much for entering. We put you guys into a random draw. And Malte Carlson is the winner. So if you want to reach out to us on Twitter, it's TV underscore JJD. Send us a message. Be like, Josh, I won. And then we'll figure out your shipping address. Let Dortmund know and Dortmund will ship you the kit. So thank you guys for tuning in for this five takeaways. Congratulations. To Mr. Carlson for the winning of the kit competition. Another frustrating performance from Bruce Dortmund. And we're going to bounce back hopefully on Wednesday against first. So thank, take care, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Drop a like and a sub on your way out. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers, friends.